In this episode, we're going to look at um, cloud formation in a bit more detail. Uh, this is part of the uh, one point uh, C section of the OCR A level um, geography course um, in the Earth Life Support Systems, where we need to know about condensation and the formation of clouds. So we've previously looked at convection. Um, we looked at it in terms of lapse rates and humidity. The, the basic process here is that the sun gives off solar radiation, which heats up the ground or the sea. Um, that ground that is warmed up then actually heats the air that is directly in contact with it above it, so the parcel of air above it in a process called conduction. And that then parcel of air, because it's less dense than the air around it, begins to rise vertically and it begins to expand and cool. And that rising vertically and expansion and cooling um, is the process that we know as convection. You get convection currents also in lava, um, in the mantle. Um, so convection currents can be everywhere, but this is an example of convection in terms of cloud formation. We get these fluffy clouds, um, um, convective clouds, and you can get them over land, all over sea. You just need a warm surface um, for it to happen. Uh, convective clouds often happen in the summer. Temperatures are higher, and therefore we've got more solar radiation warming up the um, the, the ground to cause uh, the, the initial uplift for um, convection to occur. Another way in which clouds are formed is through the process of advection. Advection simply means when we've got a um, warm air mass horizontally uh, going across a cooler surface and as it goes over that cooler surface it uh, reaches its dew point and therefore condenses into cloud. Here's an example where we can see a warm air mass uh, that is moist going over some snow, which is colder, and therefore it turns into um, low level cloud, which in this case um, we would call fog. Here's an example of that in real life. Um, we get uh, warm sea breezes that kind of blow in uh, to this area of San Francisco, and we can see this low layer level of um, fog, and that is because we've got that warm sea breeze going over um, the cooler waters of San Francisco Bay, um, which gets lots of upwelling, and therefore um, we get this low level fog appearing. So that is another process. We've got convection, and this is advection. Just another um, satellite image here to show you um, that kind of warm air mass moving in and as it's moving across the cold water forming clouds to show you uh, another example of advection. Another way in which uh, clouds can be formed is through the process of what we call orthographic uh, uplift. What this essentially means is uh, an air mass, an air parcel is forced upwards um, by um, a change in the relief so in this example, it is um, a, a mountain that's a barrier. And so the mountain forces the air up um, in over it and down the other side. And that process of forcing the air up actually causes uh, the parcel of air to um, expand adiabatically and therefore it condenses and forms clouds. So this is where we've got a barrier relief, the parcels forced up and again, the process of condensing is happening. Um, however, when we get on the uh, other side of the mountain, the air that had risen up, which had cooled, it starts to kind of sink. And as it sinks, it warms up. Um, again, this is happening adiabatically. So this is happening in the parcel. Um, and because most of the, the kind of rain has been precipitated on uh, what we call the windward side of the mountain, um, that means there isn't much precipitation to happen on this side, which we call the leeward side. And so you get drier conditions found. You can see that on both sides of this mountain, completely different weather conditions are found. So on the windward side, lots of rain, lots of lush vegetation. On the leeward side, we get much more um, drier conditions um, and kind of sinking, dry, warmer air. Here's an example just to show this and happen. Uh, this is where we can see that the air has been forced up over the mountain, it's condensed, um, reached its dew point, formed clouds, 
and eventually that air will sink and warm up um, adiabatically and therefore become drier um, and then you wouldn't get on that side of the mountain you would get less rain and drier conditions. Another way that we need to know about cloud formation is where we talk about um, fronts, uh, frontal clouds. So I've got an example of a cold front and a warm front, which I'm going to go exactly. But basically what it means is where you have two air masses meeting each other. And these are air masses that have different characteristics, so they can't mix. And because they can't mix, they forced up or over each other and that means that causes that process of rising air which causes condensation and um, causes um, clouds to be formed. Key thing here is that we have cold air and we have warm air and like I said they don't easily mix and so they force each other to kind of act when they meet. Here's just an example to show some of those kind of air masses that might affect the UK so we can see um, in the kind of bottom half of the picture, we have lots of warm air coming up from the Atlantic um, and from North Africa. But whilst from the, the north um, and east and west, we have kind of Arctic cold air, polar air from Central Europe. And so we've got cold and warm air often meeting over the UK, which means we get a lot of these kind of frontal uh, clouds happening in places like the UK. So the warm front, uh, the difference between a warm front and the cold front is a warm front basically means that the warm, um, the warm air is advancing. So when the warm air is advancing, it kind of rides up over the back of the colder air. Um, and that means it kind of just slides in up above it um, because we know that warm air rises and the kind of cold air gets wedged underneath. And it's kind of quite a gentle angle. But as this rises up, it obviously condenses, meets its dew point, and forms clouds um, and at a, a warm front we get stratiform clouds so you can see here in the picture it's like a layer cloud where because of that gentle angle it kind of is a real gradual um, rising of the air and so we kind of get these um, flattish but often spread out long layer clouds which I'm going to show you in the next picture. Here you can see the two air masses the warm air mass going over the cold and you can see this kind of sparse um, flat layer of kind of not very um, dense clouds. That's what we call stratiform clouds. So you often hear the word um, stratus being used. And that is what we're talking about, these kind of flat layer clouds. Another example of, a, of it from a um, satellite point of view, we can see the warm front and we can see it's going advancing in this direction. And as I've circled here, this kind of patchy um, layer clouds are what we get at the, at the front of a kind of leading warm front. So a cold front is, is slightly similar, but just a little bit different. Rather than the warm front advancing, it's the cold front that is actually advancing. And because cold fronts move faster than warm fronts, um, we actually get a really kind of sudden uplift of um, air. So as you can see in the diagram, the uh, warm air is being kind of pushed up really, really quickly. A bit like we saw on the mountains there. Um, and because that is pushed up, we get slightly different clouds here. So we get cumuliform clouds that is, you can see there's a very steep angle. And that sudden uplift of air causes the kind of really tall, deep clouds which you might have kind of recognised with the term cumulonimbus, which we talked about in tropical storms in the past. So here it shows you the kind of contrast. You get these huge kind of cumulonimbus um, clouds. And you can see on this satellite image over here of the cold um, front, we can see there that's that kind of wedge of really thick, tall, deep clouds um, in contrast to those um, scattered a very thin layered clouds we saw earlier on and that's the cold front moving there. So those are the four ways in which you need to know how clouds formed, convection, advection, um, orthographic uplift and frontal clouds both warm and cold front.